Guys, it's me, Weston. Crocs have become one of the most popular comfort shoes. They're lightweight form, breathable holes, wide range of colors and styles, easy on, easy off. It's no wonder why these shoes are beloved by people walking to the mailbox, professional athletes, politicians. So when I saw that Walmart dropped this absolute heat, the rugged shark comfort EVA sandal, I knew the foam industry was about to be shooken up. Shaken, not stirred. And I had to cut them in half and see what's going on inside. Let's get right into it and see if your money is better spent on the name brand Crocs or if the Walmart Crocs are just as good for a quarter of the price. But before we get right into it, let's cut to our sponsor. So Clomps just reached out and they have released their brand new Clomps 3.0. And there are a couple of significant changes that they've made, probably the most noticeable one uh, that you would see here is this amazing high top for extra ankle support for someone with skinny little tiny ankles you know, real just chicken legs down there so them adding this in just really goes to show what a great brand clomps is now ankle support aside it does include of course the classic vegetable tanned leather straps uh, it does come with that full length leather insole and as we know, that's gonna go ahead and compress and really just get the details of your foot. But there's something that we need that maybe you didn't know we need, and that's air units in your Clomp 3.0s. They're so comfortable that everyone in the shop just loves wearing them. Every day I come into the office and all I hear is clomp, 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 because everyone just can't get enough of these shoes. So thanks again to Clomps for sponsoring this video. Where would you wear your wood? Let's go over the details of these shoes, but first, let's look at the originals. The brand is Crocs. This is the classic clog. The weight is 6.3 ounces, costs $49.99, and is made in China. Next, the Walmart clogs. The brand is the Rugged Shark, Walmart. Uh, the style is Comfort EVA sandals. The weight is 5.3 ounces, lighter than the clogs. Price is $12.98, and they're made in China. Okay, so moving on to the uppers, you'll notice that there is no leather. You might look at this and think that it's like a green leather, like a, like from an actual crocodile. It's not, it's convincingly fake, because it's foam. So foam, F-O-M-E, stands for Forced Oxygenation Material Extrusion. That's what foam means, that's what foam is. We move to the fake croc. You'll notice no leather. Not one single bit of leather on here. It's foam, it's all foam. So if we move on to the burn test, you'll notice here that the Crocs just kind of turned a little liquidy, kind of melted off. You could just scrape it. Looking at the burn of the fake Crocs, um, you'll notice it kind of bubbled up. It was almost like when you boil caramel. Ooh, I just wanted to stick my whole face in there. I would say they both did about as well as you'd expect a foam to do under such intense heat. Okay, so we really wanted to see if this foam was actually different between these two and, and how so. So we put it in our rig, the upper puncture rig, and the Crocs punctured at about 22 and a half pounds. You know, you probably don't wanna be walking around broken glass, you know, Lego factory. Moving over to the Walmart Croc, these punctured the upper at about 19 pounds, right? Not a ton less than the Crocs, but enough less to where every single Lego, every single nail, every single used needle that you drop, they're all gonna go right through here. So going on to the insoles, you can see that they're both made of foam. But what we learned from the last Crocs video is that this is actually the Crocs return policy written in Braille. And compare it to these rugged sharks, the Walmart brand, they have these little lines right here. They kind of look like they're waves or like a topographic map. But what we really learned is that it's the electronic pulse that a shark uses to sense its prey. Growing up as a, a farm boy in Mona, um, I always like to feel really connected to nature and it's just cool that they put like such a, a natural like feature into this, this little tiny product detail. To see uh, if anyone performs a little different than the other ones, we went ahead and threw them on the ball drop test. So the Crocs, after dropping them for an average of five times, they bounced up 13.8 inches and the Walmart rugged sharks uh, popped up 11.8 inches. So that clearly tells us that the Crocs are gonna give you a lot more spring, they're gonna be a lot better on your foot. Because when I was a wildland firefighter, you'd be wearing these boots all day long and, oh, oh, are you gonna join us? Everyone's always been commenting about Toaster to join us and it looks like he's finally coming up. Oh, see, look, everyone's missed you. Say hi, everyone. Back to what I was saying about being a wildland firefighter, but because when I was a wildland firefighter, I learned 
that on the boots you need to have really good durability and comfort. So that's why I like the Crocs because they're gonna give you more spring for when you're on the trail for a long time and you're, you're carrying a saw and you're jumping out of helicopters to go fight fires out in the middle of the wilderness. I think that puts Crocs just, just a little bit ahead of, of the Walmart Rugged Sharks. All right, now for the outsole. It's important to know the materials of these Crocs. This Croc is made up of foam while the Walmart uh, Rugged Shark outsole is actually made up of foam. So the Crocs were 32 short A, while the Walmarts were 32.5 short A. Next, we did the ball drop test on these to determine which one had the more squish. And the Croc came in at a solid 6.5 inches, while the Walmart Sharks came in at a 5.5 inches. Personally, I prefer the 6.5 inches. So what that means is the Croc's gonna have a much higher responsive time. If you have a fast action job, uh, as I would know being a previous firefighter, if you need something to just put the quick pep in your step, if you know what I'm saying, and get the job done right, then you want a Croc. When comparing the vent holes, uh, the Croc vent holes are much bigger. I can get my whole finger through this, and I mean, I can't even get my pinky finger through this one. You'll be able to get rocks out of there pretty good. These ones, no rocks are coming out of these ever. The strap on the, on the Crocs feels a lot more durable when pulling on it, just with the tug test. I mean, I could, I could rip these apart really easy. Between the two, I would definitely go with the Croc. All right, that was one of the easier cut and halves we've done. Blade's a little dull, might need to replace that, but let's go ahead and check out what's inside. I was actually surprised and kind of shocked at how easy it was to cut these open. So I was kind of expecting there be, to be a shank. I don't know why there isn't any shank in here. Honestly, I'm pretty surprised and disappointed that there isn't one. You won't be able to stand on ladders for as long as a period of times. For me, while hanging up my favorite anime posters, it just won't be as comfortable and supportive without that shank in there. I measured the thickness of both the Crocs and the Walmart Rugged Sharks and found out that the Crocs actually have seven millimeters more foam than the Rugged Sharks which is shocking, surprising. And like I always say, more foam, more better. If you prefer a more barefoot type shoe, the internal foam density of the Crocs is 25 Shore A, and the Rugged Sharks come in at 24.5 Shore A. So they're almost about the same. Now with all that covered, let's see what it really takes to tear the rest of this apart. Even though they both tear off easily, the Croc is one millimeter thicker, so they're better because the thicker the better. As to which is most waterproof, again, I would have to go with the regular old Crocs. I just think these are second to none with their material science. I mean, water's just not gonna get in here. You know, we've ran the tests, we've seen all the data. The thing I wanna know though is, is I kinda wanna taste them. I'm gonna give them the chew test, so bear with me. Yeah, 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 so I'm getting like a green taste, kinda, you know, springy. Very light, very airy. Uh, now for the fake croc. Very similar. Um, I would, if I had to eat one of them, I would probably eat this one. 
If I had to wear one, I'd probably wear the Crocs. So if we're asking the question of which one's gonna be more durable, like do you wanna go for the rugged sharks because you know they're rugged or do you wanna choose the Crocs? I think the Crocs are gonna be a lot more durable. All right, a lot of you might be wondering which one's more comfortable. I would definitely go with the Croc because the Croc is the one that's gonna have the most squish to it. Nice aerodynamic design, a lot of rebound, uh, like my past relationships. Gotta go with the Croc. Now I can already see the comments now. People are gonna be blowing up my DMs and leaving comments asking, but Weston, which one would you choose? Ranking both shoes on my personal what would Weston wear scale. I would have to go with the classic Crocs. So anyways, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think about the boy girls lava shark Crocs versus the Crocs in the comment section below. Please like, subscribe, comment. Without you guys, we couldn't afford to do any of this fake work that we do. <laughs> Ha ha ha.